English Tim here. Today I'm doing a video that was requested by Abhishek Shukla. He asked me to do a Gollum video. I've not done one yet, so please do follow now for the latest in what you can do to improve your damage against the Gollum. So first the basics on a Gollum. It doesn't fight back, which means you don't need to worry about infantry. They are not required to give you a shield to protect your other troops. They only have a place if you're using a mixed march. If you're using a critical march, then infantry have no place whatsoever. And just to note that this works for any troops, any attack where you're fighting something that doesn't fight back. So if you don't take any losses, then this type of march is going to be beneficial to you. So keep it in mind for the portal, alliance hunt and events of that type. So Gollum, it is treated as infantry, so any troops you have that have a benefit against infantry will be beneficial. And you really want to focus all your efforts to increasing your battle stats, focusing on improving your bowman attack and damage, and your cavalry attack and damage, in that order. Bowmen do more damage than cavalry as their attack stats are higher, so you really want to focus on bowman first, attack second. Now if you go through all the different things you can improve, there is a long list. You need to make sure you've got your war gear on, so make sure you've got your best fighting gear. You can, as an aside, rejig all of your gear to boost your attack stats, so focus on troop attack, then bow attack and cavalry attack. That will help improve, but I think redoing your gear just for the golem is a big ask. But if you're really going for it, then have a check, see what you can do. Big note, don't ever increase your high score whilst you're doing these rejigs if you're not in the middle of a uh, an upgrade event so the shop event for that specific item make sure you don't increase that score there's a risk so be very careful on that so once you've got your war gear on make sure your gemstones are fitted they should normally be in your best war gear so that shouldn't be a problem and then we've got all the other things that you should normally be in but just make sure they are so make sure you've got your artifacts in and again you could rejig those to focus on attack rather than other stats and then make sure you've got your uh, hero weapons applied and also your uh, dragon scales now you might actually want to play with your dragon stones there's no cost to rejigging these as long as you're uh, you've got your highest score in the past so make sure you focus on those stones which will give you the highest bowman attack and then highest cavalry attack. You don't need to worry about infantry attack. So if you switch out to your, uh, this is my best fighting gear, but you can now quick, uh, quickly check to see if you've got anything that would lend you a higher set of stats. And uh, just make sure, as I say, that you focus on improving your bowman attack. It will give you some quick maths here, so that tells me how much I'll be losing. That one is a very bad swap. So unlikely I've got anything better, but have a look through and see what you can do. Now Tomes of War, these are important. You do need to uh, play with these quite possibly. I've got them set up currently to, uh, to fight PvP. So I have infantry stats and this won't have any benefit during the Golem. So you may wish to reset this gear. It does cost a thousand gold, so don't do it too frequently unless a thousand is meaningless to you. And then you really want to focus on improving your bowmen. So first up, make sure it's only the bowman attack. So this one will take the bowman defense and turn it into attack. That's fine. You don't really need defense as they're not fighting back. So you can uh, use the arrows of vengeance. This will apply to all your tiers. So not just one. That makes it very, very useful. Iron skin, you can totally ignore. And now it depends what troop types you have, but focus on the highest level troops first and those that will do the most to increase your damage. So phantoms will deal extra damage worth 2.5% of your health. So uh, minus your enemy's health. So you can put that one on as well. Death throwers, if you're using T11, so key point is only add these tomes to the troops that you're going to be sending in your march. If you're sending a crit march, then you only can have six tiers of troops. So the best would be four tiers of bowmen, followed by two tiers of cavalry, or three bowmen and three cav, depending on what you have available. So I've got 15 tomes left. So you'll see I'll be using three tiers of bowmen and three tiers of cavalry as I uh, don't have a lower level. I might train up some, uh, some T9 bowmen for future golems just to see how much better I can do. So let's apply the tomes. And 
And given I'm using a significant amount of cavalry, I'm actually going to put 10 tomes into Defiant Charge. So you'll see other people doing videos may not do this one specifically. Depends really how many tomes you have, what troops you're sending. And I'll be sending a lot of demon charges, so I'll put five on here, but it might be worth me experimenting in future to see if it's better to put these into the T10 troops. I'm only sending around 40,000 T10s, uh, T10 bowmen, so it's feasible that more troops, it'll be more beneficial to put those on there. So we reset our Tomes of War. Now looking at your hero council, Make sure you put the hero with the highest level of attack stats. Take into account that the troop attack stats apply to both the cavalry and to your archers as well, but it will also apply to infantry if you're using a mixed march, but you won't be using much infantry, so it is still worth more than a basic stat. I'll show you an example. So we've got uh, troop attack here of 180%, 179%. That's worth having for troops uh, for both bowmen and cavalry, so it'd be worth around 360% for increasing 180% for both your uh, both your bowmen and your cavalry, though you would prefer to put more into bowmen. So you can balance out which one is the best and just merge, uh, just pick out the best stats that you can. Katagan's my best, and then I've got Dindrain as well. And this hero here, you will, whilst you're actually doing the attack, make sure that you have your best attacking hero. Mine is Madoc, and uh, you may also be able to use Oberon. But whilst you're sending your march, make sure you've got Sir Gawain in there, or Lady Isabel. Lady Isabel has a 23% march cap boost once she's uh, maxed out, and Sir Gawain, 25,000. So more troops is better against the Golem. That much is definitely true. So, if you go to Temporary Accolades, you go to your appearance here and go to accolade. Just check to make sure that your labyrinth explorers are still running. Most importantly, the bow and the cavalry ones and the troop damage. These are all really, really helpful. If they're not, make sure you get them from the uh, dead trader in the exchange here and make sure you get them running. Now on your Lord talents, you also want to make sure you're on the war branch. Depending on how many you've got, you want to start focusing them first on bowman attack, then on cavalry attack, and finally, if you are sending infantry, you can put it on infantry attack and on siege attack if you're also sending siege. You only use those in small quantities, so definitely focus on bow first, cavalry second. Make sure you've activated your VIP. There is a 15% troop attack buff there. And then if you go into your city, and if you go to your city buffs, then make sure you activate your attack boost. Now you want to do the one that adds the highest percentage, don't need to be for the longest time, the golem will be over quickly, so I can use the 2 hour savage attack, and you definitely want to increase your uh, march capacity. Now depending on how keen you are, if you've got a 50% you could apply that, I've only got 25%, again I only need it for 2 hours. And then if you check your relics, you want to make sure that you've got hold of the crown of command and a uh, battle blade or dragon blade. Just to note, the dragon blade battle blade in Luna only does a small amount of extra damage, so if you're trying to save gold, you can live without that. I'm actually doing a battle later today, so I'm going to get the dragon blade. And then the Crown of Command, this will add 15% to your march to your base march capacity. So we'll get hold of that. So if we equip the Crown of Command now. And if you've got any permanent relics, that's always handy. So those can have attack benefits and titles. So you can ask around and try and get hold of some of those to, uh, to help out. Now you also want to set your Colossal March talent and your Breath of Fire. You want to leave these to the last second if possible. And um, I will just check and make sure I've done anything else. Yep, so you've got the heroes on the march themselves and then the march. So one key point I've got here is if your crit march is over 30% or 36% and up is absolutely definitely the case. You want to send a critical march, so only six tiers of troop, only bowmen and then cavalry. If you don't have at least 30% crit, then now is the time to be using a uh, mixed march, so lots of different tiers of troops. There are calculators online, Revenge Gamer does have one, and there are other calculators as well. I will put a link in the description for those. 
and uh, once you've chosen which march you're going to do and you're ready to pull that trigger let's do it now so i use my colossal march and now if i go set up my march to make sure that it is remembered so a quick reload so i've got up to 561,000 troops so Yeah, let's do some. I will keep playing with this and try and get the best version. So check out other videos to see what marches they've used. This is the one I'll be using now, and I will try test this again in future. Now the heroes you want to use, I'm using Dindrain and Brutus. My understanding is the latest heroes actually do have a benefit over these two. So that is uh, Lot and Kiara do have a benefit. I don't have those heroes yet, so I can't test them. So any comments you have on that, please let me know down below and see how they've been going for you at the different star levels. So I will save this march now. I will activate my Breath of Fire. Again, you want to maximize this to the highest level that you can. Then if we go to the event center, let's run those hits now. So remember, you've got to have your crown of command in position and in your hero council, you want to make sure that you've got the uh, the best troop march capacity hero that you can and send that march. Make sure you're far enough away that you can switch out two bits of gear en route. If you can't switch them out en route, you lose a lot of your benefit. So let's try now. So that was close, two seconds to go. All right, so that was my first hit. So I've done 3.36 uh, uh, million damage. Let's uh, keep going. Okay, so that's all 10 of my attacks landed. You'll see I've made it to rank 13. We'll see how I finish up. I'll try and record to see where my final position is. I am a low spender in my kingdom. We have one of the biggest players in the game, a top 10 player. So I ended up in the 17th place, and uh, I say I'm pretty happy with that in a very high spending kingdom. And with me, with my 11K stats, there's a lot of people with 20 plus K, a lot of people at 16K. So I am a long way behind a lot of those. There's only so much you can do to improve your score. However, this video does a lot to help with that. I am English Tim. If you're enjoying my content, please do click on the subscribe button and on the notification bell to receive updates about my future videos. Click that like button and if you've got any comments, please check them down below. Uh, look forward to you joining me on my next video. I'm in the middle of my ultimate fighting guide at the moment, so I'll be covering how to protect yourself whilst you're out fighting and uh, hopefully that'll add some value so that you are safe when out fighting. King of Avalon, play now.